The person who invented seawater desalination was truly a genius. First, seawater is pumped up and passed through filters to remove sand and tiny marine life. Then, a special coagulant is added to make small algae and particles stick together. Fine bubbles lift these clumps to the surface, where they're skimmed away. At this point, the water looks clear and clean. Next, it flows through layers of sand and activated carbon to remove finer impurities, leaving mostly salt and water. So how do you separate them? That's where reverse osmosis comes in. High-pressure pumps push seawater through an ultra-thin membrane, thinner than a strand of hair. Only water molecules can pass through, while salt stays behind. The result is pure, fresh water. But for every two liters of seawater, only one becomes fresh. The rest, now even saltier, goes back to the sea. And since the membrane is costly, this method isn't cheap. To make the water drinkable, scientists add minerals like calcium and magnesium, making it taste more natural. There's also an older method, distillation. Seawater is sprayed onto hot metal pipes, turns into steam, and then condenses back into clean water. That's how seawater becomes pure fresh water.